Hey, this is Brother Hatim coming to you from the future because I've seen the end of the show. And guess what? I kept it up under 30 minutes, I think. Hey, but check this out. Stay tuned, man, because I'm going to show you how to change your life in one minute. First, I want to say uh, great Ujima to everybody. family. I really like this cool oxygen and stuff.
32 ounces down. So we're gonna be sampling on that tart cherry. That tart cherry ambrosia. Let's see. I'm gonna be able to bottle up real soon. So the shipments gonna be going out. So thank you, gifts to all the people that's been supporting the journey. We want to thank you. Musty smell, mature. Now, the um, about twenty some out of these bottles are going out of town, so I need to let this batch mature a little bit longer than I usually would. So, take some of that fight out, right? So, first, take that breath. First, to created by whatever name you choose, call it creative, we call on that energy, that power, call on the force that created the universe, the multiverse, whatever you want to call it, the place where we are. <laughs> we toast it and we say, I say. Next, we move to um, our, our ancestors, our personal ancestors. We call on our personal ancestors, our ancestors to God and bless us. Um, we call on our ancestors to uh, protect us. We call on our ancestors to lift us up. We call on our ancestors to go before us and make the way smooth. We call on those personal ancestors to touch each individual in our lives, to, to bless our children, to, to be in our children's lives. Um, we thank our ancestors for the wisdom they gave us while they was here. And sometimes the wisdom they give us when, when they're not here. Um, we thank them for their memories. Um, for the good experiences and some for some of the bad experiences. We salute our ancestors and we say our shame. Um, this is what you usually say your family line. Uh, I go down my Miles Brown, Miss Ann Robert, the Texas, Anna Davis, Ron Brown, Senior Rosalie, Tilly, Georgia, William Walter, and Christopher Fanny Gadsden, Aunt Ling, Uncle Chris, Geneva Brown, Cleveland Brown, Margaret Ellis, uh, Cecil Ellis, Wash Ellis, my aunt Alvaro, Alvaro Brown, um, uh, my aunt Gina, Jamon Jones, Montague Pimpinel, John Fillard, Normal X, Pat Ma Ra, Elder Harrison, Elder Donaldson, Elder Farmer, Dr. Marianne Williams, Mama Malika, Yusuf, pa Pastor Yusuf Weston, uh, that's all I can remember right now, um, just thinking, you know, um, I started learning about my ancestors, uh, while I was still in college, I had a little black book, and so I had, while, while my dudes had their little black book, this is before for, uh, phones. While my little dudes had, well, my other brothers had their black book with numbers in it. Um, I couldn't get no numbers. I didn't have those skills. Um, so I used it as a notebook for class for certain things I wanted to remember in class. But when I would come home, I would talk to my grandparents and I would get their their mothers and their fathers names and stuff so that's how I was able to learn my, my family history my, my little black book um, I, I ran across it um, when I was moving the last time but I got a lot of that up here All right, um, you sit down and talk with them about their grandparents and stuff like that and get the names and write them down and I encourage all of y'all all of everybody that's watching Start building your family line, especially if you got elders in your family that's still alive. You know what I'm saying? Start start learning about your family line. So we toast our ancestors. 
We move from there to the present moment, the days of Jima, collective work and responsibility. Today, we're going to talk about being able, the ability and the power to change your life in one minute. One minute. All right? So, you need to tune in to the YouTube for that one, right? So, we toast this moment. We say, I say, from there, we move to our children, our children's children, unto infinity. Um, so, uh, I, I, you know, my children make me, make me smile and make me angry every day. I go through the damn bit of emotions. So, um, you know, we toast our children because our children are truly our master teachers, are they not? <laughs> they put us through every trial and every tribulation. And, and if we are not spiritually growing, we are not really doing what we're supposed to be doing, right? So we toast our children, our, our children's children, unto affinity, right? Because everything we build in is for them. So we toast and we say, I shake. And last but not least, I toast you. Told you to take the time to, to sit down and sit with me. Get you a glass. And we grown folk, right? Grown folk. We toast with glasses, right? So I toast you and we say, I shake, I shake, I shake. I wish you peace, power, in 100 years. Peace, power, joy. Yeah, that's going. It's bottle time. It is bottle time. If any of the elders out there that ordered their stuff, you out there, Mr. Ori Pianchi, your stuff is ready. Yes, it is. Miss Vern Love, your stuff is ready. Oh, man. So, how to change your life in one minute. That's what we're going to be talking about on YouTube. I want to apologize because I wasn't, y'all won't even believe it. Well, probably you will because y'all up with me at 415, which means I had to be up a little bit earlier. I fell asleep last night and forgot about the show. You know. So I'm going to take a break from the show for a couple of days. So I probably won't do the one tonight either. What's up, Miss Sheila? How you doing this morning? All right. So, um, Facebook, I'm about to go and make my, make my little cocktail real quick. Until, you know, I got a little while until my drink is ready. So I still got to go on and make this. Detox. I'm telling you, man. After doing that show about them damn parasites, I'm telling you, I'm scared as hell. You know, I'm like, so I, I, I'm gonna kill them. I'm gonna kill them before they kill me. All right, <clears throat> that's what war is, right? You're killing your enemy before they kill. You. Oh, you tired? Okay, hey, I'm tired too. I almost didn't make it. But this was the first morning I was actually able to get up and um do uh I did a, a cold a cold bath. Um, you know, because like I said, part of the English Cyber Challenge is the cold water thing, right? You don't have to do the cold water thing. With the English Cyber Challenges you do what you do the you do the stuff that you could do. So, um, the cold water is one of the challenges um, because it helps with the circulation. I'm, this morning, I'm feeling, I'm, I'm hyped, right? Because it's like, you know, once that cold water hit and, and you like immerse yourself in it, it gets everything flowing, right? So, and, and a lot of people don't even understand, you actually think you come out 
when you would come out of a cold shower or a cold bath cold. You actually come out hotter than if you was if you was coming out of a if you come out of a hot bath or a hot shower, your body your body immediately starts trying to cool itself off. So you start sweating, right? So so it actually starts doing the opposite when you come out. So when you come out of the hot, your body starts trying to cool itself off. So when you come out of the cold, your body is trying to warm itself up, right? So you actually come out hotter than when you went in. So your body is, your blood is circulating, and it kind of gets you, it's, it's, it's sort of a high. I'm high right now, to be honest. Um, free. The high is free. You know? You know? So, um, there's certain things that we can start doing, like with the breath exercises. One of the things, like for example, that we talked about with, uh, uh, with breathing exercises, the breath retention, the conscious changer. Get the blood flowing. It's a free high. I mean, so much. It's so much stuff that I'm starting to find out right before fifty. I could have saved all types of money when I was young. I mean, shit. Spent all that money on weed, and I could have been getting high. My breathing would have been as much fun though. But I guess fun is a relative term, right? So, for those that don't know, um. Coconut, coconut oil. Um, this is the ambrosia vinegar. Even though it got apple cider vinegar on there, that's the ambrosia vinegar. Um, I made it. We got the coconut. We got the cinnamon. We got the cayenne. I'm about to put that in there now. We got the turmeric. If you can't use turmeric, you can use uh, garlic or something else. Um, thyme. Um, oregano oil is a little bit too aggressive. You know what I'm saying? I honestly believe because you know I'm trying to build up the, also build up the uh, the um, the the belly, the, the gut bacteria. Oregano oil kills everything indiscriminately. So. We kind of want to take it easy on oregano. Alright, so I'm going to stir this up. I'm going to let this sit. Alright, family. Facebook. I'm out of here. And like I said, tune into the YouTube channel so you can learn how to change your life in a minute. Alright? Call it self-sacrifice. What? Yeah. All right. I'm out. All right. Now, I told you I would give you all time in between, so I'm getting a little bit better at this. I know I apologize because you're not getting a lot of the, uh, the visual effects and stuff like that because I'm... You know what I'm saying? I take, I take time in the morning. I'm trying to get get you a quality product, but I don't. Um, um, Sometimes I don't have the time to be running through all that stuff. And I know I know some of y'all like, Brother Hot Tim, them damn parasites is dead. I'm just making sure. But then also it's kind of good to kind of detox. I'm still working through some stuff. Even though I've been oil letting and I've been killing the pain, of the tooth, the tooth is still there. I got that issue. Um, I'm working on that as well. But uh, also, I'm, I'm trying to get my body ready because I'm doing another fast uh, around the change of the, the change of the season. Because for those, for those that don't know, just because it's June, don't mean that summer started yet. Summer started officially around June 20th. So I'm thinking about doing a fast the 19th, the 20th, the 21st. Anybody that's interested in joining me on the fast, um, post in the comments. Let's talk. All right, now, so, talking about changing your life in one minute. It's called self-sacrifice minute, right? 
Now, those that follow me on the blog, because for every video, I do a blog, right? So, um, I'm, I start the blog off by asking this question. How do you build a pyramid? Same answer as how do you how do you start a journey of a thousand miles? How do you chop down a tree? Right? It's not complicated. It's not hard. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you, you after you do all the mathematics and figuring everything out, you still got to do it one step, one chop one block at a time and when we are trying to build our life because we're on the gym of the day collective work and responsibility right so now remember all the principles as far as Giamme first start internally and then work outwards so there is no collective work with other people there's no collective work between the five parts of yourself right Five parts, six emotions, seven principles, right? Five, six, seven, right? The five parts of yourself are not working together. There's no, there's going to be no collective work outside of you because inside of you there's a conflict. We, we have to pull the five parts of ourselves together and get them to work properly, right? Collect the work, responsibility, right? So now, how? Do we get these five parts to start working together? Our ancestors teach us, right? Now, this comes from African openness to tree. After be the best the African openness to the tree of life. I'm sorry, I said it too fast. The best life is achieved through a systematic process. And I know you was like, Brother Hatim, you just got them telling us we don't want to be processed. You don't want to go through nobody else's process, but you want to go through your own cultural process. You want to go through your process. What is the process? What is the systematic process you set up for yourself? Now, in Giami, we had this thing. If you look, if you look down in in my description and and the words that I use, you could always find all of my stuff with this title. 224 self help process. 224 self help process. What is the 224 self help process? In Giamme, we make the pledge that we will spend at least two hours every 24 hours working on ourselves. Two hours. See, because our enemy is spending 24 hours working on our demise. Right? Our competition is working at least 12 hours to beat us, if not longer. So, we have to pledge at least two hours to self-development every day. Two hours, right? And I know a lot of y'all are like, oh man, that's a woman, that's a, that's a lot of time. You know what I'm saying? But what you start finding out is when you do the two hours... Right, it's, it it turns to four, and it turns to six. To eventually, you're working on you full time. You can't have a better job than that. But how does that start? How do you even get to the two hours? One hour at a time. How do you get to one hour? One minute at a time. You start breaking it down now. This is what I'm going to ask all y'all to do. Because I know some of y'all like, Brother Hatim, I can't do no cold shower. Brother Hatim, I can't do no daily breath exercises. Brother Hatim, I can't do no daily movement exercises. Brother Hatim, I can't read every day, Brother Hatim. Brother Hatim, I can't write every day, Brother Hatim. Brother Hatim, I can't get up and do the daily toast with you every day, Brother Hatim. You know what I'm saying? I can't do all this shit that you got us doing, Brother Hatim. I, I can't look at my diet, Brother Hatim. You know what I'm saying? I can't take 
drink that nasty shit that you make up every day, brother Hotel. I can't get the ambrosia every day, Hotel. I, I can't make ambrosia, brother Hotel. You know what I'm saying? And the whole piece that I'm trying to get you to understand is you do everything a step at a time. The stuff that you see me doing, the ambrosia, the being able to to drink stuff like this, right? To being able to brew what I brew. To being able to get up at uh, 3.30 um, in the morning. Um, to being able to, to, to have time to do a workout or breathing exercises. You know what I'm saying? And still be able to go to a place of employment, right? Um, being able to do the radio shows even though I slept through it last night. You know what I'm saying? Um, what's a process? Something I have been working on for years. But I started one step at a time. Now, in Germany, we have a saying, right? You know, at least I started this saying. And it goes, if it comes fast, it don't last. If it comes slow, it's good to go. A lot of stuff I ran through fast. Right? Other stuff I built up slowly and over time. Slowly and over time. One minute at a time. I worked up to two hours, being able to spend two hours <clears throat> a day on me, on getting me prepared, making me better. I've been able to do that because I started with one minute. Right? So, there's this system also called Kaizen, right? Which means basically when you break down Kaizen, good wisdom or something like that, but when you really look at the word from the Japanese perspective, not that I read Japanese, but you know, I do research when I when I try to bring your stuff. Kai, right? Kai basically means self whipping or self you know what I'm saying self whipping like whipping yourself into shape Zen means good sacrifice self whipping good sacrifice self whipping something good for yourself controlling yourself self mastery it's a good sacrifice, right? Making that sacrifice for yourself. So we do good sacrifices for ourselves and we start with one minute. And what do I mean? You can't meditate for 25 minutes. Can you meditate for one minute? And you start with one minute. You can't exercise for 15 to 20 minutes. Can you start with one minute? can't do like I do for an hour, two hours, sometimes getting this stuff ready, bottling it up, can you start with one minute? You know what I'm saying? You can't run um, uh, for, for 20 minutes to get a mile, can you start with a minute? Right? Can you dedicate a minute to yourself? Because this is what's going to start happening, and I promise you, fam, when you start with a minute, right? The minute is eventually not going to be enough. So you start working out and you work out for a minute and you be like, I'll go another 30 seconds. Then that 30 seconds is going to move to two minutes. And then that two minutes is going to move to four minutes. And that four minutes is going to move to eventually, before you know it, you are going to be doing it for at least 25 30 minutes same with the meditation same with the reading same with the writing you know what I'm saying one minute at a time step by step do a small change to make a large change I came up with that years ago um because we was trying to do fundraising for an uh, agency that I used to work with. So I, I said, hey, why don't we take these big water jugs? Because we get them for free. 
and we put them in corner stores all over the city and we put our title on it and and we ask people to give us their small change. We call it a small change drive. And our slogan will be your small change to make a large change in the community. My elder Nomo looked at me and said, small change, Penny? But you try to build a nation for ants? <laughs> you gotta love no more, man. But the, the idea was getting people to do small things. Right? And what I'm trying to get you to do is do small things. Step by step. Because when we take care of the small, the large take care of itself. Right? We start off small, but then, because this is what's going to happen, right, fam? You'll start doing your little small stuff. And then, all of a sudden, people who weren't noticing before will all of a sudden see a massive change in you. And be like, it's like you changed overnight. And deep inside, you're going to be laughing because you were like, overnight? <laughs> right? You know what I'm saying? Because think about, I want y'all to think about this. It took me on YouTube over eight years to get over a hundred people. I just got over a hundred people 2017. And the only reason I was able to get over a hundred was because because of what I was doing, I was able to connect with another YouTuber who was gracious enough to say, Hey brother Tim, let me help you. Do you understand? Many at a time. Small steps. Right? So if you want to change your life, it only takes one minute. One minute. And it sounds stupid, right? But when you if you start the minute and you do it, now not you got to now, the best life is achieved. Listen to the ancestors. The best life is achieved with a through a systematic process. Through the establishment of a systematic process. Right? So this means that the process, the minute, has to be set up systematically. Right? And a, it has to be a process. So this means that you don't do a minute at 12 o'clock today, and then at 1 o'clock tomorrow, then at 3 o'clock on, on this day, and then 4 o'clock on that day. No. It has to be systematic. This means that at the same time, at the same time, you have to do that minute. That's it. The same time. You set up a time. Right? I'm going to do this at 5 o'clock. And at 5 o'clock, get your minute. 5 o'clock, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the reading for a minute. All right? Let's say you're on a Google Solve Challenge. you be like, boom. I'm going to do... One proverb. One proverb for a minute. Then minute you you gonna be looking at the proverb and you gonna be realizing that it that minute wasn't enough at five o'clock. So now instead of five one from five to five one, I'm gonna go five to five oh five. Alright? Every day at the same time, you gotta be systematic with it, family. So don't be Sporadic with the times when you do the minute because if not you're going to spread out your energy See because what you're trying to do is you're trying to establish a pattern. You're trying to establish a groove in your life Alright, so you start that groove small and eventually that groove will grow into You know what I'm saying? A, a, a whole song Alright, so this is Brother Tim. I want to thank you for taking the time to make sure you join me and I just, I just broke down the secret of the universe. Some of y'all, life will never be the same because you spent a little bit of time with Brother High Tim. I taught you how to change your life in a minute. We call it the sacrifice minute. The self-sacrifice minute. Damn it, I'm good. Damn. Alright? So, hey, I will see you on Ujima. And right now, you have a great Ujima. Peace. Thank you for watching the video. I want you to subscribe. Click the bird right there. The fiery bird. 
And I also have a special video just for you. Right there. And for those that want more information about Jeremy Journey, go to our site. It should be right about there.